what do you do when all the rooms in your home are filled with people where you're not welcome? You record a video for YouTube. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Color Me Badly. I'm back again with some shares from our favorite Blue Bag Boutique. Yes, they have impression fragrances. Um, these are not dupes of or not associated with and they give us the names of the fragrances you guys I'm super excited to come on and share these scents with you and tell you what I think about them from my very first time in smelling them So if you are interested to find out what fragrances I've got from the blue bag boutique that smell just like the real deal or not Please continue to watch all right, so before I go out to bed, I wanted to come on and I wanted to record um, me opening these fragrances and finding out what they smell like before I start giving them away. Um, you know, sometimes you dig down in your closet and you find things that you didn't remember, you don't remember you had or, you know, something kind of like that. You know, I, you could come up with whatever scenario you choose to. But these are fragrances that you can find at the Blue Bag Boutique. These fragrances are normally $4.00. And 99 cents or you can get three for ten dollars yes you guys I'm super excited and I believe that all of these fragrances except for one I've yet to smell so let's get into it oh, oh yeah by the way I'm calling me bad Lynn uh, and on our YouTube channel we mainly talk about fragrances fragrances that are in my collection the ones that are on my wish list we talk about all things beauty you name it we're gonna talk about it from the inside out trust and believe love relationships romance family issues and faith most importantly and if I forgot to mention anything you know we're gonna talk about that as well so let's go uh, I feel like I forgot to say that so the first one that I have you know I love a good long box and I was interested to find out what this one was because I know in the past they've had several fragrances that were duplicates for Kenzo fragrances this is too in a similar box but with a totally different name and I was really really inquisitive this one says red rise by Sakura so here is the box here I really really like the box you know really nice Valentine's Day is coming up so this is something really cute if it smells really good this is a really really inexpensive gift maybe um, and I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can read this correctly I kind of read a little bit of this but I want to make sure that I get all of the wording correct okay all right so this is I have to pull it out a little bit okay so this is this is not associated with the makers of flower by kenzo and you know i love a good kenzo fragrance so let's find out um what this one smells like what's your favorite kenzo fragrance mine is world power intense love it that's my favorite kenzo fragrance so if you share down in the comments what your favorite kenzo fragrance is i would love to hear about it i may not have it in my collection and would like to add it someday all right, so we're gonna open this up. I love the box. This just lets me know I got a whole lot of juice on the inside of here. What's the 3.4? So 3.4 fluid ounce, but it feels like you get a lot of juice, right? So let's open this up. I don't want to tear the box up because I'm probably going to gift this away. Like I said, Valentine's Day is coming up, and I got a a few young ladies in my life. One in particular that, even though she have a certain taste of things that she likes. I like to throw things like this in the bag too. So, so this kind of looks like a fragrance I already have. They just kind of repackage it and put it in a different box maybe. I don't know. So this is shaped similar to the, yeah, it's shaped similar, but it's kind of like a different name on this one. I actually like the way this is made better because if you can see on the inside of the bottle, the actual stem of where you get your juice from, comes up through here so i like that so let's see what it smells like but it's kind of like the same packaging and i figured that when i saw this i'm like i don't know but i want to spray it and find out what it smells like because i like the like i said you see the rose and then you can kind of see the little vine there i think that's really really cute okay so this is it starts off very synthetic really really loud 
very floral. I would have to let this die down first to tell you whether or not I like this, but I love the bottle. First of all, let's start there. Uh, the scent is kind of cute. It's starting to die down a little bit. So, so far, so good. I like, I love the bottle. They really got the bottle right with the Kinzo shape of the fragrance. So, if nothing else, I would like to keep this for the way that the bottle is shaped. I love the shape of these bottles. Gorgeous. That's what kind of made me interested in this one in particular because of how it's shaped. Love that. Okay. So, the next one that we're going to get into is going to be... It says Flora Rosa Eau de Parfum. Let me put my glasses on so I can read to you guys. Because these actually have stickers on them of what they're duplicating. Okay. Which I love. Because I don't have to play the guessing game. It says this item is not associated with the makers of Flora Bomb by Victor and Roth. I love that. Because like I said, that way you don't have to play a guessing game of what they're trying to duplicate. So let's find out what they did with this one. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Flower Bomb doesn't smell that good on me. Um, it's okay. Um, and I'm really, really liking that one, the Kinzo Impression. I like the smell of it. I don't know what I, why I like it so much, but I really like it. These seem like they're kind of tucked down in the box to where you can't really like pull them out without tearing up the box. So the paper is a little bit, a little bit cheesy on that. Oh, so listen, this particular bottle, I'm going to go over the notes. They got the notes on the box, you guys. Love this. So let me pull this out. They did an amazing job with how they packaged these, but this is like really stuck down in there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so they did good with the shape of the bottle and everything, you guys. This is nice. Okay, they did an excellent job with this one really really nice i'm going to spray a little bit on and then i'm going to read the notes to you guys they got the notes on the box i like that they coming up in the world again you can find these fragrances at rainbowshops.com or rainbow shops or what we love to call the blue bag boutique and i kind of like the smell of this i like the bottle they got close to the actual flower bomb and so they put the notes on the box so let's read them and see what they're talking about they getting fancy on me okay so the notes for this one is tea which i love i love a good tea note i love bergamot i smack this your middle notes are orchid jasmine rose frezia african orange flower which i love a good african orange flower and then your base notes are patchouli musk and vanilla and i like this you guys this smells so good like i'm really 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 impressed with the uh, smells that I've been finding at the Blue Bag Boutique. They're beautiful for layering. I'm really impressed with the first two that I've smelled so far. Good, good. So the next one that we have is Love and Enamor. Um, made by the same company. And this one has a sticker on it also so it tells us what it is duplicating. And this one is... It says this is not a, this item is not associated with the makers of Amour Amour by Chasherelle, and I think I have that one right here. So this is the original Amour Amour, and this is a duplicate of it. And I'm gonna be able to tell you how close they got to that one. But if they did as good of a job as the first two that we have, you guys, nice, very nice. Especially like I said for bedtime since like last night, I believe. I wanted to spray on something really, really nice yesterday evening, but nothing just real heavy. And But I wanted to smell like Valentine's Day. You know that sweet, like chocolatey kind of scent. And I have a, a chocolate covered strawberry. And so I tried that along with another little strawberry fragrance that I have. And they lasted all day and all night to the morning time. Beautiful, just really nice like scent. Just something to smell really, really sweet and good. So let me pull this one out of here. The only thing about these are really snug in the box. So they give you a lot of juice. And they do really good with duplicating um, the bottle. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. So this is the original Amour Amour. And this one is Love Enamor. Okay. So I'm going to spray. I'm going to spray Love Enamor on the back of this hand. 
it's a very very heavy sprayer and then I'm going to spray a more and more on the back of this hand and I'm going to share with you guys whether or not I think they are close they got close with the bottle design I'll tell you that much this is again the original a more and more by Shy Sherelle, and this is a duplicate that I found at rainbow shops and so far they are close because I can smell them so this was the duplicate very close like like I forgot which one I this is the this is the duplicate I can tell this is the duplicate it's a little bit louder this one is a little bit smoother a little bit I got a little bit more of a juicy note to it yeah this one is a little bit sweeter the original is a little bit sweeter I'm gonna read to you the notes on this I'm really excited because they gave us the notes on these and I'm gonna try not to crush my eyelashes um this one is love and enamor which is uh supposed to be a duplicate for a more a more by Chasherelle. top notes black currant which we love orange mandarin orange grapefruit cassia and bergamot okay i definitely can smell the grapefruit um it has in the middle notes rose apricot jasmine lily of the valley okay nice little white floor there then in the base notes which we haven't gotten there yet because the fragrance hasn't calmed all the way down just yet you get vanilla tonka bean musk amber and virginia cedar so that's what we're supposed to get at the very very base of this and again i really really like the fact that they added the notes to these scents on the box they normally don't do this this is a different company from what they normally carry this is this is sakura and it's an eau de parfum so this is nice because all of these have actually had the notes on the box they got pretty close with that one I can definitely tell the difference in um, the quality of the fragrance I will say that but they got very very close very very close so next up on the list that one was love and enamor very very close to a more and more by Chasherelle the next one we want to try is dream of you see what that one is this one has a sticker too i think it's a duplicate for a britney spears fragrance yes it says this is not associated with the makers of fantasy in bloom by britney spears i don't know if i have that particular fragrance in my collection to be able to tell you guys how close they got but it really doesn't matter because i'm going to be honest with you all of the ones that I've grabbed from them so far throughout the year or so that I've kind of been playing around with them and finding out whether or not I like them have all smelled really, really close to the Britney Spears fragrance uh, fragrances. They really have done a great job. So I'm going to check this one out and see what they did. The boxes are really, really cute too. The only difference with these boxes are normally the boxes from the company that they normally carry. You could kind of bust them open and they don't tear up. These are a little bit... A little bit flimsier this is the first one that I opened up that I didn't tear up okay. only thing I don't like about that is that if I don't keep it for myself I'm gonna have to like really really doctor the box up in order to gift it away you know what I mean this one is called dream of you so if you decided to keep this for yourself and you collect fragrances you will probably want to display it like this this is how I would display mine if I had it you know what I mean and I have run out of places to spray on myself, so I'm gonna spray. Plus, I'm wearing a fragrance. Um, I sprayed on a fragrance after my shower, so I don't want to. Okay, so far, right out the right out the gate, you guys, it smells really, really cute. It smells really good, like candyish almost. Okay, we hit it on the nail. It's got um, Japanese cherry blossom, red berries green mandarin okay middle notes are osmanthus i've been getting a lot of fragrances lately with osmanthus in it and jasmine tuberose we love us a good tuberose it's got vanilla sandalwood and amber i like this it's got a little now of course it's not going to smell the same on paper because it's not going to give you that that on the skin contact scent so i want to put a little bit on me just to see 
it's really really warm going on the skin so make sure when you apply this to your skin that you have a body cream and lotion on um, to protect your skin so you don't this doesn't burn your skin it didn't burn my skin but I felt the heat this has got a cute little old scent to it I like this a lot this is really cute now how long these last I really don't know I was sharing with the young lady that works in one of the rainbows that I frequent because she was asking me about a fragrance I was wearing and uh, I was sharing with her it was she was kept saying is it one of ours and I was like no but I was sharing with her that a lot of times you can layer these fragrances with whatever perfume you're wearing. And I wore one of these fragrances, like I said, to bed the other day. Um, well, not to bed, but I just sprayed it on in my for my evening shower or bath, and it smelled amazing. It was the chocolate, the chocolate covered strawberry scent, gorgeous. So you know, you it depends on which one you find and how well your body chemistry works with these fragrances you may find a couple of winners i've got several in my collection that i found that are uh three for ten dollars that are really really good you guys so all right so next on the list i like that well so far i like all the scents that i've um discovered there's two left one of them i've already shared with you guys before which is the cherry i decided to grab another one of those because i really really love the cherry scent nowadays and i gave one of them <laughs> I gave my cherry away to one of my grandbabies and so I wanted to add that one back into my collection. Um, this one is Daydreaming in Pink. So we already know this is going to be something pink and cute. Let me put my glasses on so I can tell you all. This is another one that is a duplicate for Britney Spears fragrance. This one is a dupe for Electric, electric, electric Fantasy and I'm sure that this one is going to smell cute too because all of her fragrances smell real cute and I'm like I said I'm really impressed that like that has a cute little old scent to it you guys it does have a very cute little juicy fruity gourmand scent to it very cute all right so yeah the, the paper on these the boxes on these are a little bit flimsier than the normal ones because like I said I have torn up every single one of these boxes except for one so if I give these away, honey, I'm just going to have to just give them the bottom. I'll put it in a bag with some tissue paper because these boxes are just torn to pieces. All right, so this one is all pink and this one is called Daydream and Pink. So if I were going to display this one, I would turn it this way. And now the only thing I'm noticing about this one is they kind of lacked on is they did not do, they didn't go all the way into detail like with normally how they do the braided neck of the bottle like the Britney Spears fragrances so they kind of they kind of they kind of left us out on that one but that's okay we want to know what it smells like right that's the most important thing the spray is a little a little whimsical on there so this one kind of comes out of the gate a little bit and I can tell it's got some kind of peppery type of note in there let me read the box and tell you all what's in this one because this one this is one of those kind of fragrances that I always give away it's got something in it that I just can't do it doesn't smell bad though. Yeah, pink pepper. If pink pepper is not done right when it first come out, is that's it right there? Okay, so this one is, and I like pink pepper. It's passion fruit. Uh, my glasses are failing me. Pink pepper, passion fruit. I just got these glasses. You got to be kidding me. Passion fruit, pink pepper. Your middle note is heliotrope, jasmine. Your yeah, base notes or benzoin and ambroxan. So yeah. It's okay, but that pink pepper came straight out of that bottle, and baby, I can smell it right away. So that is something that I would definitely sit to the side. Um, it would be something that if I use it or played around with it, um, I would pair it with Versace Bright Crystal. That's what I would wear that with, or maybe like my tip one of my Tiffany fragrances and see how it would work together with something like that i love blending them um all together so i wanted to come on and share those uh fragrances again you can find those fragrances at rainbow shops or rainbowshops.com the blue bag boutique for four dollars and 99 cents knock yourself out have a good time you may find some scents in there that you really really love and enjoy if any of those fragrances are your absolute favorites 
I love getting dupes for some of my fragrances that are in my collection that I love. I think it's fun, especially when they smell exactly like them. I like to pair them together. And like sometimes if I want to wear something like that to bed and I don't want to spray out on my good good, I'll use a dupe, honey. No shame in my game. This is your girl, Color Me Bad Lens, and thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate all of your love and your support. Thank you to all of my subscribers, my new subscribers. Hey, welcome to Color Me Bad Nation. We are super glad to have you. Make sure you chat it up down in the comments below and let us know where you're from. What's your favorite fragrance house? I don't care how expensive it is. From niche to low end, it doesn't matter to me. Shout it out. Let me know what you love, what you enjoy, what fragrances, what video of you, you've watched so far that you've enjoyed. Talk to me. Shout it out. Send, uh, send me a message. You can send me questions to Dear Color Me. My, both of my emails are inside of my YouTube channel. Feel free. Ask away. We are here to answer any and all of your beauty questions. If I don't know the answer, I have many, many people in our field and industry that can give me an answer and shoot it back to you um, if that is your flavor. Hope to meet you over on Instagram. Again, this is your girl Color Me Bad Lynn saying ta-ta for now. Blue Bag Boutique, three for $10. Get you some.